This is a production of Minnesota Sea Grant, a system-wide program of the University of Minnesota. Lake Superior Commercial Fishing Supply Chain in Minnesota. The goal of the Minnesota Sea Grant Fisheries and Aquaculture Supply Chain Project seeks to identify viable scenarios for the effective processing and distribution of commercial fish and aquaculture products in Minnesota. This production focuses on the Lake Superior commercial fishing supply chain in Minnesota. The Minnesota Sea Grant Fisheries and Aquaculture Supply Chain Project has four objectives. To explore how best to mitigate the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic situation. To determine methods to prolong the shelf life of fish products and to provide supply chain flexibility to explore cooperative business components such as processing and distribution, and to address future uncertainties in the supply chain for Minnesota seafood products. Minnesota Sea Grant Fisheries and Aquaculture Supply Chain Project staff include Amy Schrank, Minnesota Sea Grant Fisheries and Aquaculture Extension Educator, and Don Schreiner, Minnesota Sea Grant Fisheries Specialist. What is a supply chain? A supply chain is the procurement, processing, preservation, transport, and sale of a product or service. What is roe? Roe are fish eggs. Fish eggs cured with salt make caviar. Caviar is considered a delicacy. There are several commercial fishing concerns addressed in the Minnesota Sea Grant Fisheries and Aquaculture Supply Chain Project. Commercial fishing concerns include Aging industry players Many commercial fishers are approaching retirement without someone to continue their fishing operations after they retire. People looking to get into commercial fishing need to know that it's a viable business in which they can make a living. Supply and demand mismatch. Local demand for freshly caught fish is high, and fishers struggle to provide adequate supply during the prime spring-summer tourist season. Fishers receive a low price for their product during the roe season in fall. Cisco, or lake herring fish fillets, flesh, and roe are the predominant commercial harvest in Minnesota's portion of Lake Superior. The dockside price for Cisco has been declining since 2017. Lack of fish preservation options in the fall. When local demand drops, preserving the fish extends the usable life of the product and opens up the possibility of transporting and selling in other markets. The most viable preservation options include vacuum packing, freezing, and smoking the product. Most fishers lack the financing and infrastructure required for purchasing and holding the equipment for these preservation methods. Lack of fish processing labor. Processing is done by hand and can be time-consuming and physically tiring. Without additional labor, fishers have to spend more time processing fish and as a result, less time actually fishing. Monopoly in the roe export market. Roe, or fish eggs, are very profitable when processed into caviar and sold in international markets. The price fishers get for roe is often 10 times the price they receive for flesh. Locally, roe does not have great value. The proposed recommendation for the issue of aging industry players is to improve the price of fish products so the industry is attractive to new commercial fishers. The problem of supply and demand mismatch could be addressed by creating a collaborative and efficient market via a Facebook group page or a co-op to buy and sell fish. Fishers receive a low price for their product. Creating a cost calculator fishers can use to determine price points that sustain their business and are acceptable to customers could help. Lack of fish preservation options. Developing vacuum packing options could enable fishers to buy and sell more of their catch by extending fish freshness by three to five days and longer if frozen. 
The recommendation for lack of fish processing labor is to create partnerships with willing processors and distributors during the row season to provide much needed labor to process and market surplus product. Such partnerships could improve profitability among the partners and provide local job opportunities. Helping fishers identify new row buyers and markets could help to alleviate the current row market monopoly. Interested in reading the supply chain white paper? Looking for fisheries and aquaculture experts? Visit our website and check out the Fish, Food, and Aquaculture program page. Thank you!